every morning. This is the first thing I do. Coffee. Once there's a little one in your life, coffee becomes even more important. Do you want to intro my video for me? With a little wall head. <laughs> Today's gonna be a super fun day. We're off to London. We're gonna go and train at WIP. We're gonna train with Zach. Spend the whole day with Zach. I've not spent some real time with him for a while. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Also, I wanna break down how to stop your knees kicking in a squat, exercises you can do, why it happens, why you wanna avoid it, and how to fix it. Like, I'm gonna do it in like a minute segment. I'm gonna put the exercises in, make it real quick for you guys. If you wanna go straight to that part of the video, there's a timestamp below that will take you straight there. With that being said, let's get into it. Morning, Leon. Morning, mate. How are you? I'm good. Now that I've got my caffeinated beverage from Starbucks, other, short, other Starbucks are available. Uh, other, other coffee other shops coffee are available? Other coffee shops are available. For those of you who follow our podcast, there's a couple of things that I just, I say a lot and I didn't realise, and now I try and get them in on every podcast. I need podcast. to tell you off. I need to tell you off about our podcast, live on this video. In the next podcast, you are not allowed any fucking clicking pens within a metre <laughs> of your hands. <laughs> every podcast I've listened to, I keep hearing... Every, do you, I have, no, I have you noticed. Have, no, have you noticed that? Yeah, as well? I, have, I also there's one with my cat meowing outside, <laughs> yeah. and, I, and I look around my car. It's Luna in my car. We, I, we love the raw stuff. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Here. The podcast is a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of you guys are enjoying it. If you haven't found it yet, it's just TLM Radio. It's on Google. It's on iTunes. All that good stuff. That's anyway, back to my bike. point. The thing that I always say is other brands are available. It's kind of lost its kind of flow now. We kind of went on a bit of a tangent as we do on all our podcasts. Anyway, enough talking shit. Let's get to London. Can we know for once I was the early one? Can we just note that? Well, actually, we got here at 7 uh, 36. Why? Why ruin my friend? Like, Leon won't be there. He'll, uh, Zach won't be there. He'll be at Leon. But you're here. Yeah. He's in Mitch in here as well. He's here, he's here about 2 o'clock. Ah, I think. More people to make me look unfit and weak. Yeah, I don't know if he's true. He's seen Franco, so I don't know. It might be okay. because his elbows, maybe. Okay. Is mine okay? The original yeah, OG. Yeah, this is, this is the original though, yeah. and I've got the thick he, grizzly version of but it. But he's coming up strong, so I need to make sure <laughs> he's close just, by. I just shaved mine because it got a little bit too wiry and started looking like a sad face. <laughs> so I had to cut it down. Need, <laughs> just to keep it up. <laughs> yeah. We need a blonde one. We got, we got the yeah, we do. Tins, we got nice well, dark is that him? Is that no, him no, dropping no, the mic for we'll that? We'll probably be retired by then. There's a class on at the moment, so we're just going to go and grab a coffee, have a quick catch up, and then come back and warm up and I think we're gonna start with snatching today. Leon's on test week so we thought one RM snatch let's jump in with him and see where it takes us. How are you Big Zach? I'm very good thank you. Excited for some one RM snatching yeah, today? Yeah been roped into some snatchy snatch. Because today is active death normally. Yeah and then lots of uh, fitness fitness. Very Leon's excited. program is one RM snatch. You hit one RM clean when? Saturday? One RM clean Saturday PB. One RM back squat Monday. One hour in power clean PB yesterday. Uh, tell, us, tell, tell us the numbers. Uh, back squat 175, clean 126, and power clean 112 and a half. He's on fire. And what are you hoping to snatch today? I'd love 95. Um, just depends on what happens from the hips down, really. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, some time has elapsed. Basically, we got talking to Elliot and Jamie, who have both qualified for the games, chatting about the Open and everything with them. So, it's about an hour's passed, so we've just done a little warm up. We're now gonna start getting snatched. We've persuaded pretty much everyone to join us in Max Snatch. Uh, then I've got to do my back squats, and then Zach's got a really horrible conditioning piece. So as it's Wednesday, it's active recovery. As we know, that's active death when it comes to Zach. Uh, so, you're gonna watch me crash and burn, but this year, is the year that I'm actually going to work on my fitness. Um, I always maintain an average amount of fitness. <laughs> but this year I'm actually going to do my strength and my fitness stuff. I'm 100% fit, which I wasn't for 90% of last year. So I've gone back to my program with Gus, but I've started back from the start. So I finished two blocks last year. I've gone back to block one. I'm start there, six week back squat cycle, then six week front squat cycle, uh, working on the accessories for the Olympic lifts as well. So 
let's see where that brings me in October for the Open. Hopefully I can, I can get a little bit further, try and break that top 500 mark. Uh, and I want to talk to you guys a little bit about my knees caving when I do my back squats in a moment and how I'm fixing that. I've just found out Rob's 1RM is 130. Why am I snatching with the strong boys? Like power, that one. There you go, we always PB when we come to wit. 93 for me, 0.5 kilo PB, 95 for Leon, two and a half kilo PB. And mine was smooth, I'm well happy. Okay, so if you see my lifts when I squat, as I get up to my high percentage, my knees kick in. Now this isn't ideal, it's not the end of the world, but depending on the degree that this happens, it's, you're gonna start losing power, but also, as we know, if you move with bad movement patterns and you do it for a long time, it might give you issues. In this case, it'd probably be something to do with your patella, your kneecap tracking. Um, so I need to work on, one, stabilizing my feet. Something I always say, we need to keep that contact with the floor. So the heel, the outside of the foot, where the big toe, the little toe is, and the big toe and the ball of foot needs to be gripping the floor. You can even twist them in to get a little bit more stability. Because if your foot isn't stable, you might have flat foot, you might need insoles, you might just be weak in the ankle. The ankle moves, the shin or the tibia is going to start doing this. At your foot, it doesn't look like a massive amount of, uh, of difference. But by the time that gets your knee, your knee is swaying quite a lot. So we need to make sure that we've got a stable foot. But also, we need to look at the glutes, particularly the glute knees, which work with kind of external rotation and abduction of the legs. So what can you do to improve this? You can use a resistance band, loop it around your knees, do a partial squat and step to the side. Make sure you plant one foot before you move the next one to keep that tension on the band. That's gonna basically force your knees in. So you have to use those muscles of the job to push the knees out and strengthen them. You can also do air squats or light squats with the band around your knees, that's great. You can also do the clam. Probably the world's most boring exercise, but incredible for strengthening these muscles. It looks a little bit like this. Again, it is boring. It is quite uncomfortable, but it's amazing. Finally, you can do basically RNT lunges, where you lunge with a resistance band around one leg. So basically, it's pulling that knee in and you're forcing it out. That's also going to switch on those glute med muscles, but do it unilaterally, so you're working one leg at a time. Do these and do them in your warm-up, maybe on your light sets, and that's going to strengthen up and hopefully stop mine and your knees kicking in the squat, allowing you to get stronger and more power and be more secure in your squats also. So now we're doing Zach's fitness, which is going to be horrific. John's just back squatted. I've just done some air bike stuff or erg bikes, which is um, some like 600 meters each round. So my quads are fully pumped. We've got to do 21, 15, 9, calorie row, over erg burpees, rest and repeat three times. Three minute rest three rounds. Lungs. So we changed it because of space. It's a four minute AMRAP now. Get as far as you can, then your partner goes. So my first round, 
Got two burpees into the round of nine, so finished all the calories. That's gonna get real hard, real quick. I went way too hot on the first round and I'm paying for it big time. <laughs> Mr. Whip himself. So that was absolutely hideous. I didn't get to film anymore yesterday. I had the camera in the back of the car on the way back and then I had daddy duties when I got home uh, to help Rose out because she'd obviously had Bobby all day. It was a really epic day yesterday. I hope the squat tips that I gave you with the band, I'm um, sorry that I talked a bit fast. I had a lot of caffeine in me and I was nervous slash I knew everyone was waiting on me to get involved in that Zach's kind of conditioning piece, which was horrific. I sent it in the first round and then got nowhere near my score in the other two rounds. Anyway, the Postman's just come today and a few things have arrived which I ordered a while back. So we were at WIT yesterday obviously, but I actually ordered a new pair of lifters from there the other day. Um, I don't spend money on anything but food and shoes. Like you guys now have a shoe fetish, you see my walk-in wardrobe. Uh, I got drunk for Matt's birthday, which you would have saw in the last video, uh, me saying that I went out and had a few drinks. Uh, and I bought these when I was drunk and I'm a little bit in love. These are my new lifters. I actually bought them in the wrong size. I bought them half a size too big and my insole didn't fit. So I sent them back uh, and I got them in the right size. So I'm excited to give these a run out. Also, this has just arrived in the post. Uh, Knocker have just sent through their brand new flavor, which is Miami, but strawberry. So I'm excited to try that as well. That's gonna get me through training today. Back on with Gus's whip performance program, which is gonna be uh, a lot of overhead pressing and accessory work today. And I hope you enjoyed this video. It was real nice and fun for to be filming again and not the, without the pressure of the open. Not the open, it's quite hard to film. Um, have all like, the kind of the panic and the nerves that goes on with the open as well, but also try and think about filming while thinking about your workout. It's like as soon as I finish, I'm out of breath, I'm trying to film Leon, I'm trying to film someone else and I'm trying not to shake. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed them and I hope you had an amazing open. Please let me know in the comments below what your goals are for this year. That's what I want to know. For me, um, I want to hit that 100 kilo snatch. That's actually a lifetime goal uh, and hopefully I can do it this year. I really hope that I can. Um, and I want to finish top 500 in the open. And then I have some squat goals and stuff like that as well. Um, and it's cool sometimes just to write your things out there and put them in the ether. Because when other people see stuff, it holds you a little bit more accountable. So often, even if I'm by myself, I will film my heavier lifts. Not always for technique, just for sometimes for the pressure. Because I'm like, oh, if this goes well, maybe I'll put it on Instagram and share it with people, which makes you want to be able to do that. And it also makes you want to do it correctly with good form, because otherwise you don't wanna you won't wanna share it. And I know a lot of Instagram is putting up your favorite bits and your highlight reels, and I get that. Uh, but it is, I do find that alone, maybe it's just me because of my job, I do find it uh, a little bit more extra pressure, or sometimes I'll just shout someone to come and watch me. Uh, can you watch me do this lift? Um, and they might think it's for technique, but really it's, it's for a little added incentive to push a little bit harder. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a massive thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and again, leave a comment below. Let us know what your goals are for this year, and we're really excited to hear them. See you guys.